Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going over how to properly care for your macaron shells. We're going to be talking about macaron shelf life as well as going over three different ways to properly store your macarons. So let's get into it right now. So we are going over three different ways to store your macarons properly to get the most out of their shelf life. So macarons, I would say, last about three to four weeks. And here's the thing, that sounds like a long time, but that's if you use your best friend, the freezer. So let's go over number one, a way that you can store your macs. You bake them, let them cool completely, and then you put them in an airtight container like this. And you're going to put the shell, just the shells, and pop them in the freezer. So you can have shells on hand whenever you want to fill. And I feel like that is the easiest way when you're doing large production to do all your shells at once and do it this way. And then fill all at once. When you're ready to fill, you take them out of the freezer leave them at room temperature for 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how cold your room temp is. And then you just fill all your macarons at the same time. It's speedy, it's very um, efficient for your production. That is one way to do it. Once they are filled, you can either pop them in your refrigerator and that's going to allow them to mature and get ready for your event. I'll do the filling usually two days or one day before an event so they're perfect, matured, and ready to be eaten for your soiree or your event, whatever it is. So that's number one. You can also, after you're done filling all your shells and say you still are a little ahead of schedule and you don't have an event for a while, pop them back in the freezer and this is where those three to four weeks come in to play. Um, I've tried macarons in the freezer after three months. To be honest, they are still good, but that is with a good seal. Um, I have a chest freezer that is only for macarons. It has a really great seal and it stays really cold. If you're using your refrigerator freezer, like the one attached in your home to your refrigerator, it may not be as solid of a choice. You may only get five days out of it. Um, if you are likely to get freezer burn on any products in your freezer at home, I recommend purchasing a chest freezer or a separate freezer that you're not opening as much. That is gonna keep your quality of your macarons a lot better. So moving on to the second way that you can store your macarons to keep them at their quality, their best quality. And this is, you can bake them, let them cool completely, and fill them right away. So then you have your cute sandwich macarons all ready. And instead of putting them in the refrigerator, you can pop them in the freezer. So you're, you're already having them filled and putting them in the freezer, and here they can stay three to four weeks without losing any of their quality. When you are a few days out from your event, you can take them out of the freezer, and this is important, make sure you pop them in the fridge from the freezer. So you're gonna do like a, a slow um, lowering or increasing of temperature so it doesn't get condensation on your macarons. So you go <clears throat> from the freezer, pull them out, a couple days before your event, pop them in the fridge and let them get to a good temp there and mature, and then you're ready to take them out at room temperature for your event. When you pop them out of the freezer, say you have an emergency and all your Macs are stored in the freezer, as soon as possible, take your macarons out of the freezer and just pop them in the fridge as long as possible, 15 minutes even, um, so it can slowly come up to temp 
and not get super wet and conden have that condensation on the outside of your macaron shells. That's gonna help um, keep that shelf life. And if you're worried that you didn't mature them in the refrigerator enough, macarons from the freezer will soften a bit. So it, they'll be better than if you were to have just made them and filled them. Moving on to number three, and this is the way that many people do it. It's just making your cookies, filling them right away after your shells have cooled and storing them in the refrigerator. Make sure that you mature your macarons. If you don't mature your macarons for at least 24 hours, the filling pops out. Also, it doesn't allow that flavor to seep into your shells and marry all the flavors together. And I think that's what makes a macaron so good. The flavors marry and it's one and not like two shells and some filling. So those are the three ways that I recommend storing your macarons and the freezer can be your best friend. I feel like it gets a bad rap and really it is, it's not that they're not fresh, it's that you're keeping them fresh in the freezer. So uh, enjoy your freezer, enjoy the efficiency of it and work smart, not hard. I have with me the containers I put my macaron shells in. We've got these Rubbermaid containers. I love putting my shells in here. It has a really great seal and I will just store my shells. And then I fill when needed and pop them in the fridge. That's my preferred method a couple days before the event. I also use this type of brand and I like to put my shells that are filled in here when I'm taking them to an event because they fit really well in my uh, big cooler that I use, a Cambro Go. And you can check out my farmer's market vlog for uh, to see how I fill my um, Cambro Go to travel with my macarons. But, so I'll use both that Up and Up brand and the Rubbermaid brand, but here they are. So in here, I've got some macarons that are more like duds or designs that didn't come through all the way, um, or just extras from an event. So here are some cute rosettes, or I'll have like ones that I would use for samples, ones that got lopsided, or ones that just the design sucked, like, like the bedazzled nipple. I don't know if you guys saw my post about that, but that was interesting. So I'll have some on hand. This even actually, these black ones are from New Year's. So I'll take one, I'll take a bite now and I'll tell you guys how it tastes after, what, three months in the freezer. Nice full shells. I probably have black in my teeth. But it's lost some of its flavor. They're coffee, they're mocha flavored. And I feel like there's still a good bite to it. But three months in, I wouldn't want to sell it just because the shell itself loses a little bit of the almond flavor to me after being frozen for that long. So I like to maintain the integrity of my product taste things as they go and freeze some and keep them in the freezer and see how long I can push it. And I feel like one month is where I feel comfortable selling my Macs if they weren't in and out of the freezer. Valentine's Day. Still good. So what, that's one month ago, right? Everything tastes great. I would not have any problem. I'm not going to sell these, but I wouldn't have a problem selling these if I were still doing my regular market and they were in the freezer the entire time. They still taste great. Quality is awesome. Whereas those ones from the new year were a little bit flavorless in the shell. It's hard to explain, but you could also hear, I hope, the crunch that this still had and the uh, chocolate ones did not. See how soft that sounds? 
I can feel it, but I don't know. And then. They're good to go. Either way. You taste, you know your equipment the best, but I say three to four weeks max for selling your product if you sell your product. If you want to be able to do things in advance for your kid's birthday party or your spouse's birthday party or whatnot, you could even do these three weeks in, a, in advance and then pop them in your freezer or work slowly for three weeks. So it's not like you have to do everything all at once, which is great. Macarons freeze so beautifully and I really recommend using them. All right, guys, so don't be silly. Use the freezer. And like I said earlier, work smart, not hard, and enjoy these beautiful creations you've spent so much time on and allow them to have a huge shelf life by taking proper care of them. I hope this video helps you with how you are going to schedule your macaron making and hopefully it helps with your efficiency as well. If you guys have further questions, please comment down below and let's start a conversation and I will be happy to answer any questions. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Like it down below. And of course, we love you and we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Happy math making.